All right, we're going to start with the unboxing of the Lotos LTPAC 2500. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's L O T O S L T P A C 2500. So here's the box, how's it came in two boxes. I'm assuming the pedal controls in one box. You can see there's a hole in the box here. When you look in there with a flashlight, you can see the unit's about an inch to an inch and a half away from the hole. It doesn't look damaged, but we'll find out in a minute. Some damage on the edge up here, but not too bad. Crunchers in the corner. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. This is 
it. That's what it looks like. Looks like it survived shipping pretty well. We'll find out if it works in a little while, and it'll be the second half of the video. Okay, this is the Lotus LTPAC 2500. In the first half of the video, I did the unboxing of it. Now I've used several of the features. I've used the MMA welder, which is arc welder or stick welder. Then I used the TIG welder on stainless steel. It worked quite well. I did not use the pulse feature, and I did not use the AC welding feature for aluminum. I did use the plasma cutter. The plasma cutter works quite well, too. So everything I've used on it works good. I think everything else will work good on it too. The only thing I did not notice during the unboxing, which you can probably see in the video now, is this whole unit's kind of leaning sideways a bit. Apparently the shipping crate was dropped so hard on the ground that it bent in the whole bottom of the unit. And it still works quite well. So my only thing I don't like about it is it really didn't have a very good shipping crate. It should have been packed a little better. But it survived and it works good. So I like this unit, and I would recommend it to anyone else who's interested in it. I did see a YouTube video of an earlier model of this unit arcing out on the inside, so I was kind of hesitant to get it at first, but this is a newer model, 2014 model, and it's supposed to have better protection from that kind of stuff. But uh, I like it. works good. I'm very happy with this machine. So I give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.